Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all two of you, welcome back to another episode of the Great War Western Front. In episode two, we had a little chicanery going on. We had a little nonsense. And we pushed back our enemies quite considerably in terms of morale. Though the front line didn't move very much, they were moved in their hearts. So today, we're going to try a little bit more of the same. We're going to attempt to decrease their morale to the point where they may just give up. We're going to stay on the defensive unless they allow for us to break through the lines in a swift and resolute manner. With that being said, let's jump in. Now, one note is we are in version 1.1.0. First, I guess you could say major patch has come through. And some of the main changes you should be aware of uh, it's giving a little bit more time in some difficulty modes for a battle. It's also slowing down um, some of, or rather speeding up some of the capture points. So each additional unit on a capture point will give, I believe it's 50% more speed to the capture. Uh, so that little boost is going to help a lot. We're basically saying if you got one troop on there, and eh, maybe you'll take it, maybe you won't. But if you've got a whole heck of a lot of dudes, uh, you'll probably do just fine. So we are right at the end of our turn, I believe. I like to end on the end of a turn rather than starting a new turn and being a little bit off. That way you can see everything fresh. We have one point to spend, though I don't think we're going to spend it unless we go for the wire defenses. What I'd really like to have is the advanced artillery. I would love, love, love this because then we can have siege artillery that's going to soften them up. I think the initial is something like 10% of all um, buildings and structures are damaged or a chance to be damaged. This also helps a lot. Three more seconds for the light artillery. We already have the 20 second cooldown for the heavies, but the lights being even faster is great, although we will run into some supply issues there. So what we might do is actually go down this chain because this will give us more gold per turn and that'll allow us to have even more supply. Uh, if we get desperate, this chain here basically just unlocks units. This is two new infantry corps. Uh, this is four and this is two elite cores and do 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 do. That's it. Yeah, just two elite cores. Okay, so let's actually go with that. We're not going to build any supply tents right now, but that is useful to have. So let's end the turn. They're spying on us. That's hilarious. Oh, why am I not surprised? They're going for Mendenhold. <laughs> Look, Mendenhold is going to hold. I don't care what they say. We're doing the sucker. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we might even time lapse the sucker, but we're just going to go ahead and do our typical two tiered front here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, but since these are already here, I might as well. You know, just slapping on some defenses. Don't mind us. Oops, a little too far. And where's Bravo? Bravo's right here. That's wonderful. So we're not even going to make a little cauldron or anything in the middle. We'll just make a flat line. And hopefully we don't flatline. And then I'm going to make one fallback point here. One more on the command post, just to be able to throw some more units in there. And then these guys have some already. So that's excellent. Defensive play is so much more fun. Uh, this is just chilling up here. I'm actually going to remove it. I'd like them to come farther and farther into our territory. Uh, we don't have siege artillery. What we're going to do here is we're going to weak side A and then batter them. I'll show you what I mean by that. So there's three here. Put a bunch in here. And then we're going to strong side Bravo. I'm actually going to move... Let's see. I only want one in each trench. More on that later. So this is my strong side. They're going to see... Oh, there's a lot of dudes over here. And then what we'll do is we'll shift the line as they start to move up. Okay. So we're a bit confident in... Uh, our abilities, however, our supply is lacking. So what we may have to do here 
is get a little cheeky with it. I think... How much are each of these guys? Three? Yeah, they're three each. Uh, I could get rid of ten of them. I could get a machine gun also, but I, I don't think that's going to be worth it. So we're just going to go ahead and, and throw some troops in and see what happens, I guess. I can tell you right now we're going to get wrecked. But, oh well. So now they've got their balloons up. And they're taking a quick look at us. And I think what they're going to find is that the left side is a little weaker than the right side. So my hope, my hope, is that they'll send way too many into one controlled area. We have the arty, and then we have some fun. Okay, we have our first visitors several minutes into the game. We're going to go ahead and make sure that this hurts them. And then we're going to get ready to distract them from firing back. One thing I want to make sure to do is dodge all of their artillery because they suppress us anyway, so we might as well, uh, you know, let her rip. Now you may notice that my back line is helping considerably, but they're still gonna get to my front lines. So is the reality of being completely over overwhelmed and outmatched. If they want to jump into a trench where their own troops or, or artillery is firing, that's fine. They can be my guest. Waiting for heavy artillery. Even if they get in the trenches, I, I have some confidence that we'll be fine. Like this one, these guys are weak, but no biggie. Okay, we've survived. Now that the artillery is gone, we can go ahead and just fill this back up. We're gonna move one of you over here. And now my hope is that they won't notice this hole in my line for a minute. So now we wait for another wave. I'm hoping that they just kind of get mad and start to give up. If we can get... I mean, this is, this is a pretty good victory right now. If we can get a minor victory out of them, I would be very happy. A stalemate is even fine because they have the numerical advantage, but we'll see. Give them about two more minutes and they'll show up. Just gonna scooch these guys over, and that was a bad idea. Okay. You, gentle boat, need to shift over. Okay, we've got a couple of double lines here. I'm gonna go ahead and let her rip on the arty. And let's see what happens. That's not the end of the world. Okay, now it may look bad right now. But they're bombing this, so they're gonna have to go through their own artillery to get there. Once these folks get in here, we'll let her rip. And these are devil lines, so anyone who comes this way is going to be in the arc, and they're going to get shot. I mean, these guys are going to be able to hit everywhere on the front line, that's important. I may even shift one more unit back over here, but I don't think it'll be necessary. Let's go ahead and throw a suppressor in there, just to piss them off a little bit. Yeah, that's not going to do any damage. They'll get in here for sure. Definitely getting in the middle. But my hope is that I can soften them up enough. They may actually take this, actually looking at it. So, let's... I'm tempted to shift somebody, but they're all... This is all necessary. Uh, actually, I'm going to let them come to me. Oh, look at this. They're already crossing the middle. Terrible idea. Terrible idea. You're going to lose absolutely everyone, and then this line will break, and we may actually win this fight in the bunker. No, we won't. That second unit's going to take him out. That's fine. Perdu, perdu. We're okay with that. C'est perdu. On arrive après la bataille, on dirait. Okay, they... <laughs> they left the trench and immediately regretted it. So, 
Let's see, can we replace some units here? I'm gonna send both of you this way. Get a backfill here. And then we're gonna actually send some troops from the bottom. I'm gonna send two there. Oh, that's all I got. Now, <laughs> I was just gonna say we're running out of supplies, so this is gonna end very badly. But they want a ceasefire with the current victory results, which gives us a victory. So, sure. I'll take it. Hilarious. Oh wow, a major victory. That I was not expecting. So sometimes in war, they call it the fog of war in video games, but in real life, the fog of war is very good at preventing people from telling what's really happening with the other side. So they may be desperate and low on men, low on supply, barely hanging on, and to the other side it may seem like, you know, wow, they haven't given an inch, we gotta give up, or they're just gonna keep hounding us. So the national will changes for different tiers of victory have also slightly changed. I think before this would have been a minus 12 for them, I think, but now it's a plus nine, minus nine, it's a lot more even. And um, we spent 227 gold reserves and 200 supply. Okay, the global supply is looking pretty good. And they're coming after Menhold again. We have 360 supply, which is not great. I think if I was to do two heavy artilleries and just stack the infantry, we might be okay. But yeah, again... I, I really don't know on this one. Okay, we're gonna try one more. Let's see how we do, it's not gonna go well. You know what, honestly, we might we might need to stick a supply shack over here. Uh, it would be nice to have an extra couple supply every time they batter us. Okay, here we are, and now this is uh, a slightly different map. We will probably let Bravo fall which would put them, I believe, into the victory camp because it's just not logistically possible. Um, one other thing we could do is we could fortify here. I would do this if not for this. The forest really kills us. So if I was able to just hold the fort, ah, literally, right here, I, I may have to do that, actually. So let's go ahead and build out a trench line. There's already somewhat of a trench line from before, uh, but I think we're gonna have to get a little creative with it. That bulge, I don't like it. I don't want that. No, thank you. We're gonna go right there. Okay, we'll throw a little commie trench in there. Not a commie trench, you know what I mean. Communicado. Okay, now we don't want any connection from our front line to the main. So actually, what we're going to have to do is bump one down. That's just swell. And do it like that. And we've got our little communist trench right there. This should do nicely for us. I think we'll hold uh, fairly well, and then I think we're going to get wrecked. My guess is about eight minutes in is when we just crumple and, and start to really lose. Okay. All right. Now, here, here is the most difficult part of this. I'm gonna have to put my artillery somewhere. And this forest is kinda exactly where I want it to go. So if I can plop this down right there. Yeah, that'll cover my whole battlefield. And if I can put two in there. Oh yeah, now we're now we're cooking with gas. And we're gonna backline this sucker for now. Actually, you know what? Let's frontline it with a thin line. Corner is important. Okay, and then we're gonna put, I think, maybe two in the middle. And we'll stack this. Okay, now we got a big gap here in the front line. Let's put one there. Now we've got enough dudes. These guys are just gonna cycle around wherever we need to go. They can move up here, they can move down here. And then these guys are just kind of going to have to hold out from uh, from down here. Okay. Yes, they come from right here. That's excellent. 
So I want backline forces, I don't necessarily want frontline forces. For reasons you have witnessed previously. And I am fully anticipating them to come right here, right now, very quickly. They go to Bravo, they go to Bravo, you know? I might send one unit here, just to say that we did, as kind of a scout force. You know, sorry about it, if you die. But I can kind of cover you. If they send everyone right here, I can maybe get a couple shots off. That would be funny. Uh, yeah, they're coming here first. Great. Let's just go ahead and give you some cover. Wow, they're actually going to remove some conscripts from the field of battle. That's fun. Come on, do a little damage for me, huh? Hey. Oh yeah, two units are gone. See ya, folks. Shoot them. And then it's just conscripts. I mean... Ooh, it's kind of tempting to send in another unit. They're too late, but... You know. Whatever. Okay, if they go in there, that helps us. Oh, they're coming from here. No way. No way. Not happening. Wow, we held them off for longer than I anticipated. That was fun. Y'all can have Bravo. I, I really don't care too much. That'll shift us into stalemate, probably. If I had to guess. I see red. Huh. Seeing red. So now we have two heavies. That's fun. He's not ready yet, but that's okay. We'll take care of these elites. And then y'all can move over. Okay. Only got a couple more barrages, so we need to make make good use of it. Let's go ahead and plop it right in there. This is going to be rough. I'm not going to lie, this is going to be very rough. Because we have artillery fire in it just everywhere. You guys can shift over if you want. Now this devil rear line here is going to do a lot of good for us. Okay, you can shift over, and you just keep moving. You just keep moving. Oh, that's tough. I think that's going to block all of these guys. Yeah, good shots. Good shots with the arty. Okay, we're holding, we're holding, we're holding. Oh wow, they're crossing the line. That was a mistake. That's going to give us some more health. I think what we can do here is continue to bunny rabbit. Hop. Bunny hop. Send one up, and then we're going to bring one in down here. Hopefully they don't get shot at right now. They're going to get shot at, aren't they? You know what, just, just jump in. Just jump in the trench. And they're leaving. Why are they leaving? That's hilarious. More of that, please. Thank you. Okay, separate out the lines. Uh, we have oh, one more, two more, maybe? There's an elite group, too. Uh, they're pushing the middle. Not good. So you go here. I'm going to send both of them over here. Uh, where are they coming? Right here. Yeah, I think that'll do. Let's do that. And then send one more here. That'll do. Now we have enough supply. No, we don't. We don't have enough supply. That's awesome. So all that all that supply I wasted on my heavy artillery, I'm realizing, because I didn't have enough supply to use them. You know, you spend 90 on the arty and then you can't use it. It would have been better to have one piece of heavy arty and, you know, just leave it. Okay, just dodge the artillery, keep everyone firing. You know the drill. Oh, no. Oh, very no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I want you to go here, and I want you to go here. Uh, you're gonna need to shift back this way. They're gonna get in the trench, definitely. Okay, that unit's gone, so we're gonna shift up. I'm gonna bunny hop some more. You go here, and you go here. Okay, have fun. We're getting battered.
it's it's a joy. Sometimes I have to click this button Welcome twice, which I don't enjoy. Um, so Attention. this unit can go here, and On this one here, I think we'll be fine. Because these are conscripts, these are regular troops, and I mean these two alone would probably be able to kill them. If there's more, there's more. This is what worries me is I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna send anyone from Bravo. There are troops here, or there were troops here. If they came back up to Yankee, then they may come through here. Let's see what happens. They're gonna die, that's fine. They're not gonna die, that's an elite troop. Okay, that's really annoying. I would like you to stop doing that, please. Actually, you guys get out of here, and then you guys go here. Because that'll buy us some supply back, which is much needed. Uh, they can reach them. I hate it when they can reach us. Yeah. Just kind of annoying. Can you shoot them? Yes. Shoot them, please. Shoot them! No. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Micromanagement in this game is still not something that I am very good at or enjoy. Okay, the elites have won, but they're both very weak. I mean, if I was them, I would send these guys home. Um, we're gonna double stack again. This is an absolute kill zone here. So too soon. Okay, and here's another elite unit. So yeah, they're gonna definitely bunny hop in. Move here. I think we can safely move here with both of these troops, and then I can send in one more. Oh, they're crossing no man's land. Come on, get some shots off. Get some shots off. Get some shots off. Get no shots off. Whatever. That's fine. We don't care. Come on, shoot them. <laughs> shoot the bad guys here. I honestly think that these guys are just about at the end of their rope. Wow, they are roasting us, my goodness. Let's go here, so that we have someone in no man's land. Can I shift anyone else? Yes. So, let's spread these guys out. And then you guys can jump back here. It's a lot of managing front line versus rear line. Uh, but honestly, it's, it's totes worth it. And, okay, they have elites here and elites here, so I'm gonna want... Or here. And I think I'm gonna need to send both of these guys down here. Yeah, let's do that. And then these guys can come here, they'll cover. I just sent them up, but now I need to send them back. These guys can come back. And that should do it. I don't think these guys will get any shots off on our troops here. Oh wow, they're sending everyone. Full kit and caboodle. Great. Uh, I can't... I made a huge mistake with this, getting cocky with the artillery. Okay, anyone not currently firing? <laughs> I don't think there's anyone I can send home, except for maybe them, but they're in combat. I'd really like to be able to send a unit home. Let's send them back a line. Yeah. We're just gonna have to go with it. I said about 10 minutes in, didn't I? So, uh, yeah, things aren't looking so hot. They are shooting us. That's annoying. Can we kill you guys? Wow, this is rough. I need you to go here and honestly send you back. Can you get in the bunker, please? Wow. Okay, so they're definitely gonna get in. I need to send these guys back. Oh wow, they're gonna actually shoot their own units. That's fine. I will let you have that. And then... Perfect. That's perfect for us. You'll get in, but you're damaging your own units. Look at this. Amazing. They're not in a trench. You can get out of the way. That would be most beneficial. Okay. Good. Now, I'm not confident in this fight. I'm pseudo-confident. Can you please go? No. Okay. 
l'arme You stay there. <laughs> Just selects, like, everyone under the sun. Okay, they go back. And then let's get a fresh unit here. Okay, I think... Ugh, fingers crossed. I think... I can get them to stalemate out with this. We'll see. Should have seen that one coming. Where's my other weak unit? Oh wow, they held. That's amazing. I am going to send you back and gain a fresh unit. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And you guys are going to be my watchmen. And I'm going to send this unit up for just a minute, just to watch the front line, and then we'll get rid of them too. Most likely. I'm anticipating one more push here. And then I think we'll lose. Yeah, if there was a way to just say I made a mistake, send them home, I totally would. If it wasn't nine, if it was, you know, six for another barrage, I might consider it. You know, send some troops home in order to get a barrage, but not worth it right now. Mistakes have been made, but we're in stalemate territory. Okay, yeah, here they come. So, all of y'all, just come down here. Send you guys in. I'm gonna leave them here, even though they're damaged. How many is it? It's three conscripts and an elite unit, so if we can get the elites dead, I think we'd be fine. You need to run down here as fast as humanly possible. Okay, they're gonna move. Oh, come on, that's just mean. Push through, push through, push through. And then these guys need to sit in here. Because I need some overwatch. If y'all could shoot them, that would be great. Conscripts are gonna go, elites are gonna get in. Kill them, please, thank you. Conscripts are going down. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Get in here, and just get in here. Anywhere you can get, that's great. They'll beat the conscripts. Let me flee, let me flee! Come on, run away. Run away! Ah, oh, we didn't get there. Alright, they're gonna die. It was worth a shot. I'm gonna send this unit one more down. And then in shifting, even if this force wins, which they may. Oh, come on, boys. Nicely done. Who said the French were terrible, huh? Come on, that's military prowess right there. Taking down the conscripts. The battle isn't over yet for whatever reason. Uh, okay. I have no middle line. I think we're just gonna keep trading for new troops. There we go. Alright, slow clap. That was brutal, but we will totally take the ceasefire. Alright, gentlemen. Well fought. That's a lot. We got supplies, some bonus points. I'll take it. Wow, yeah, look at this. 2,500 infantry killed. Or casualties, not dead necessarily. Oh my lord. That's gonna hurt. So thinking about this victory... Ah, this is the national world change. Okay, I was mistaken on the prior screen. But thinking about this on a global scale, their reinforcements alone, or resupply for those troops, is probably more than I spent in both of those battles, thinking about it. So the gold reserves go up a thousand, we get a research point, that's lovely. There are spies everywhere, that's not, not so lovely. Now, if we come down here, we could increase our gold reserves to 1,200 every turn. There are plenty of other things we can do. We can have mortars, we can have wire defenses. There's other stuff, right? We get a landing strip for some airplanes. 
Uh, reducing the cost of an observation balloon is actually probably the one I'm going to take right now. It's 20%. I mean, that's that's massive. I think we mentioned that in the last episode. But then this is next on my radar. Reason being, it's only one point, and every turn for the rest of the campaign, that's another 200 gold reserves. So the earlier we do it, the better. In fact, thinking about it, these are less than 200 gold to put up. Actually, it's supply, not gold. You need to think about these in terms of what units they're using. If it was 200 gold to put one of these up, then this would make sense because we would essentially get a free one every turn. Let's do this. Let's get some cheaper supply balloons, especially if we're going to go on the offensive at all. Now, Mets is stacking up. They're ready to fight. And I think we're just basically going to be on the defensive again. Another round on the defense. It may get tiring, but this is World War One. This is trench warfare. You don't move just on a on a whim, willy-nilly. This has nine cores, this is eight cores now, lol. And nine cores. So they're gonna keep pounding Benahold, definitely. What we might even do is can I add a <laughs> can I add a supply depot here? 600 bucks increases the supply cap for the region to 400. What's it at currently? That Regional supply is, it'd be 40 more per battle, I think. It can't be right. Well, even if it is, I am going to do it. It might be an impulse buy. I'm chuckling a little bit. But having just anything more would be lovely. I think I'm also going to send one unit from Chateau 3. Let's see, Elite Infantry Corps. No, let's send a regular Infantry Corps. Just to have something else, right? A little bit more capacity. So this is the supply pipeline that's been built. The supply pipeline is the amount of supply that the region can draw from the global supply bank from each battle. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not an increase of 40 from 360 to 400. This is an additional 400. Now, it does take from the National Bank, so yeah, I shouldn't go spending it like crazy. But I can afford to have two units of artillery firing all the time now. So we may get more victories rather than stalemates, is my point. We've got a lot of money right now. That's lovely. If I add this, reduces the cost of replenishing soldiers by 20%, reduces national will lost by casualties to 25%. That would be nice there because Menahold will Menahold. You know what? I think we may have to do that. But for now, let's take a, a greater look at Ypres and the surrounding territories to decide, are we just going to crush them here or here? Or are we going to potentially uh, do a little dance? Okay, so looking at Ypres, I mean, I don't think they're going to cross here um, into what we're calling sort of a Dutch-German Hasebrauch. Um, that's not the correct pronunciation, I'm aware, but it's more fun, just like the duck down below. Um, Audenarda, I believe is how you actually pronounce this location, uh, is going to be the, the on the receiving end Have of some orders. fun. That's an air wing. New orders incoming. I don't really want to mix Brits and French. Um, you know what? Actually, I change my mind. Very common. Let's send the Belgians and the French. And just, just see what the outcome looks like. If I don't click the wrong thing. My goodness. Auto resolve is a great victory. If it was like a normal victory, I would just leave it. But a great victory, I will take. Why, thank you. Oh, look at that national will penalty. You'd love to see it. Okay, now no more units can fight. I really wish that the Brits could still fight. Uh, once we take one of these territories, I plan to kind of switch them around um, so that there's French and then British or British and French or whatever the case may be. I think we'll end up taking this spot unless they bolster from elsewhere. My goal is to be across this line, which I don't think the Maginot line is correct here. 
Let's see, is that the Maginot line? No, it's not, because there's a Dutch line here. So this is probably the the country line pre-war, which will include the Maginot line, but we need to do some fighting here to push them back. And I think if we retake the whole territory of France with one or two other territories, that'll probably mean that they will give up. Okay, for done, let's check this real quick. We have four to their nine. The duck may also be a target of attack. So once I get some more troops over here, come on Paris, hurry up, uh, then I may be going for it. I'm gonna go to the purchase menu and I'm gonna buy a little bit more supply just for the next round. Um, I don't think these troops moving all the way over here makes any sense because they may be counterattacked. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it. I'm a little nervous, but that's all we're doing. Ooh, a likely outcome stalemate, but then they also have a chance of victory. We had 540 to begin the turn. We're also adding 400 of the national supply. So I think we'll be able to kick some serious butt and do it in person. All right, before we jump in here, I just want to point out we can have three cores of light, three cores of heavy, and 60 infantry. So what I, what I will probably do here is just all kinds of heavy artillery and figure everything else out after that oh wow what oh <laughs> i'm looking at the white lines thinking i can't do anything it's just because there's trees okay nerd figure it out that's gonna do it and we'll just bring the balloon down as we need to now the heavy arty is going to be able to hit everything but their command post, and I want to start right on Bravo. I am not messing around, okay? No messing happening here. I think I'm going to place it right here, uh, because if we do try to take something... Uh, is it more worthwhile to be able to hit them? Or should we just play defensively? I think defensively is the way to go. These guys can shoot as far down as Alpha and Charlie. And they can shoot, you know, right in here too if we need. I think that's fine. I, honestly, I'm just going to go with a couple of MGs rather than anything else too crazy. So let me set up the firing trenches and I'll, I'll be back in 900 years. Okay, we're having some technical difficulties, mostly because uh, this friggin' thing won't work. That's fun. Alright. We can't connect anything. Dag nabbit. Alright. Alpha sucks. Uh, we're not a fan. I think we're gonna just have to hold on hope here. Hold out for... I don't know. I don't know the correct way to even say that. I'm mad. I don't like this situation. And I can I cannot connect stinking anything. Okay, all right. Here's what we're doing. Here we go, folks. That is our front line. This is our back line. We're not connecting them. Um, and I'm gonna add another trench behind here because I feel like it. Okay, don't question me. I feel like it. And then we'll see if we can connect these suckers. Little extra, way too much going on, I know. But we have some supply this time. You know what? I'm gonna like bait them in here, I think. Not give them a trench. Yeah, we'll put some troops out of here. We'll have some troops here. There's also a river here. Ooh, so much decision making. Okay, I, I will be back in 11 years. Okay, I'm gonna create an extra fallback point on Objective Charlie, just because I can. And then I think I'm actually gonna switch this up and be a little awkward with it. Okay, now I've got a firing line that's looking right at the bridge. We can harass them as much as we want to, and I think that will be hilarious will come from Z, so yeah, we're doing that. MG looking at the bridge, that's fun. I'm definitely gonna want an MG that can overlook, like, this whole thing. 
So let's go here for the objective and here to kind of protect artillery and the flank. So now I'm hoping and trusting that they'll put all their arty up here and, you know, not be able to shoot us. Hopefully, theoretically, this is a pretty juicy target for them. Uh, whatever. I don't care. Moving on. Now the goal is to show strength on this side, as we just did. And then we'll kind of... Weaken it over here a little bit. Because I can send troops in here. I can send them in here. It's not that big of a deal. So... Let's do that. We got 104 left. But I need enough to shoot them. Okay. Sure. Now that they've seen me. Right? Hopefully. I would like you to go up. Show me how many millions of them there are. Oh, my Lanta. Okay. Oh, and they are out front with a light artillery. That's questionable, in my opinion. I don't see he heavy artillery anywhere, which is great. You can shoot me with light artillery. That's fine. Um, honestly, if these MGs weren't here, I would be tempted to go across the bridge and blow those up right quick. I think for now, though, we will just bombard this section generally. And then these guys have to come all the way over here. So there's an opportunity to blow them up in the middle. Oh, we should be on pause. Why are we Why are we never paused when I click pause one time? I, I guess it's a double click type action. Um, lots of conscripts. That's great. I don't see any elites so far. No elites. Wow. And the light artillery is just going to be chilling. If I were them with this setup, first of all, I would be very scared that this was not going to work very well. Second of all, I would probably send the light arty to shoot here and, you know, here. Try to keep my artillery barrages quiet. But let's see here. Okay. Checking the lines real quick. This is my right, middle, and left. That's cool. We're going to shoot ya right there. And let's see if there's a chunk that's not moving. They're going to move. They're going to move. It may be tempting to just shoot them all right now. You know what? I'm going to do one more. Uh, because I'm going to have some restock time, right? So I want to shoot at least two of them so that they can refresh. But I also want to hit a nice juicy bridge run. Here. I don't know if these are destroyable, but if they are, I would very much like to do that. So let's just put one, like, right in here. It'll hit the guys in the trench. It'll hit guys leaving the trench. Theoretically. Oh, they're both leaving the trench. That's awesome. So that one's a bit of a waste. This is going to cluster up in a minute. I'm all about those clusters. Boom. And then we need to drop these. Is it a... Freaking airplanes. Okay. Alright. So the arty is coming back online. Very shortly. My objective right now is to destroy 8 MG nests, so I may get over there and actually try to blow them up. I'm a little worried about this side, because I can't see it right now. But they appear to be sending all of their troops over here. I'm speeding up the game because there's nothing I can do. I shot my artillery. And that was wise of them to go when they did. Let's bolster here, now that I know where they're going. And here, sure. And then we'll send one more here, and one here. That should do it. The second these planes turn around to refuel, I'm popping that balloon again. For the record. Okay, y'all come over here. You guys can actually run. Because no one's going to shoot us right now. Okay, these guys will get a little injured. Not a big deal. And they didn't hit the MG. Uh, that's a big miss for them, honestly. I'm going to need one more unit in here. I'll send it back here. Because then they can scooch if they need to. Okay, reset. Both of you can come in. That's fine. Cool. Oh, now, 
That looks nice. Would be a shame if they were to get blown up. Yeah, you just cycle around there. Um, hmm. I, I really want to shoot a good pack, but conscripts aren't worth it. The MGs will literally destroy them in four seconds. Okay, that's annoying. You come here and you come here, because they're not going to be able to shoot anyway, right? Let's send one unit here, just so they can shoot a little bit more. Wow, they're getting hammered. Okay, um, that sucks. They can cross the riverbed. That has been confirmed. Okay, good to know. I'm gonna send one more arty barrage. All conscripts, though. Not worth it. We have supply, but this is global supply. Remember, we don't just want to willy-nilly shoot all of our uh, artillery. The MG's gonna have a field day with these guys. Might hit a pocket here, okay? They're just gonna keep barraging these guys. That's... that's cool. Okay, and you can go there. Just to be there, you know? Just to be there. All of these guys are getting roasted by the MGs, but they don't honestly care. I'm going to send one more unit here, just in case they go for the flank. And I'm doing all this without balloons, remember. So once the balloon goes back up, that's going to be real fun. You guys get lost, and you guys get lost. You may be judging me for that, but I don't care. Okay. And then we'll shift over. Now, I see two more units coming in. I don't see anyone ready to attack us on this side. And, ooh, there's some juicy targets here. We're gonna go for another one of these guys. Do a little damage to the MG, hit three or four units at one time. And then we're just gonna keep going with what we got. Once these guys get in, they'll be able to fire. These guys are now able to fire. These guys are able to fire. That's awesome. Okay, and now we're shifting to the left, it appears. So, in that shift, let's send one more little care package their way. That'll hit these guys for one shot, I think. And then these guys a lot more. Great. That's good fun. Okay, who are we hitting now? Yo, okay. Those guys will be dead, no problem. Now I need you guys to shift. Oh, the balloon unfortunately is gonna have to go down. Let's pause. Take one more pot shot here. As much damage as we can do. You know, I should have moved that over just slightly, but that's okay. The balloon comes down right as it's starting to get shot at. Lovely. And now we're using a lot of global supply. But that's why we put it in there. We've got plenty. We're not worried about it. I'm just going to continue to harass them. Now we're in minor victory. We're going to hit victory probably by the time they give up. Really hoping they send one or two more units in a sort of poorly arranged... Assault. Attention. That would be nice. Okay, shift. You can go here now. And you can go there. Lovely. Okay, they are finally hitting the MG. But the problem with that is they're doing it late and it's with light artillery. So. Okay, this is going to get dicey. MG's got it covered for now, though. Let's see, conscripts, and the planes are gone, so let's raise that again. Oh, we're coming across the middle, that's no bueno. I did not think about that. That's gonna be gone. Let's take a second shot here and just roast those guys. They made light work of that. You come down. And I'm going to actually send in a new unit back here. And these guys can shift over. Now the MG should be able to start attacking a few of them. 
few of them are also going to get in the trenches, which is no fun. So they've lost a good, I don't know, six more troops. This is my little MG trap here. Which they have found out about. Great. Ooh, just out of range, but they're still going to get hit by pot shots. Gotta love suppressive fire. Okay, now they're gonna definitely fire on anyone who is deviled. These guys can move up. And I think we're doing fine. I think we're in the, the victory mode. Minor still. Okay. Let's see if we can't hit a victory victory. I've got no more balloons, so what I might do is just send one for fun right in there. See what happens. And the music has left us again. I don't see anyone, which is concerning. I don't really want to send out a scouting party. Here we go. We coaxed them out. Crunch up the line a little bit. And here we go. I don't I don't know why they're not suppressing that MG again. What is that? Wow. AI catastrophic failure today, huh? Okay, I see you. If y'all wanna do that, you can do that. That's just protecting us from a flank here. These guys look like they were flashing as if they were under fire, but I guess not. Okay, that pushed them all in. Now they're hurting. I don't really think these guys are going to get hit by that much, but that will block both. Okay, looking good. Fire on them. Okay, I was just about to tell it to do that. We're fine, we're chilling. That has ended. Let's move over. He's saying they don't have many reserves, and we don't have much in the way of supply here. But we'll take whatever we can shoot. No more, um, not MGs. No more heavy. I'm not gonna do any more heavy artillery. I'm gonna bunny hop one more time too. Don't need the MG, this this troop will do enough firing, and then these guys will get hit from this side too. See, this is all about firing lines. If you watch your firing lines and you just imagine an approach from any angle, so long as they rake across three or four, you're golden. Okay, a devil fire there. Didn't do any good. Just trying to debate whether it's worth, you know, dropping potentially 18 more supply to try to kill this MG for points. Oh, never mind. It says five out of eight are dead, so that's cool. I'm gonna send one more company out because I've got a few in the back that I'm not using right now. So you guys can come up here. That'll be fine. Okay, the music is gone. We're well into the victory. I wanted to avoid a stalemate, so minor victory we would take, a victory we will certainly take. Oh good, right in time. So that's definitely getting ahead. And y'all can actually stay back here, because they're not sending anybody this way. Send them here. Let's see, they're sending everybody. Okay, here it is, the final push of them Nazis. They're not actually Nazis, I know that. It's just fun to refer the, to them as Nazis. Don't hate. I know it's World War I. I'm aware Adolf is somewhere in a trench. Learning art and being generally objectionable as a human being, I would imagine. Uh, don't care if they go, that's fine. They can even hop in the trench. And we'll send a better troop here. We'll give one more, and scooch these folks over. Well, that's a draw. I don't want to do a draw. No thanks. 
They're just wrecking this troop, or trying to wreck this troop, and failing. There's still dudes wallowing. Yeah, there's some wallowing happening. Glitching. You love to see it. Okay. That was interesting. We go here now. Give me some eyes, please. Y'all here, and y'all here. This is going to be, you know, 80 units right here. <laughs> Come on. Give me what you got. That's a lot of strength still on the screen. So, <laughs> why is it always when we're just looking at how much they have left? Um, if you look at our overall strength, we only retreated, I think, three or four troops. Maybe five. I don't know, three to five. But we're still chilling over here in the victory. So, yeah, I will take the ceasefire. I don't want to try to attack them. I was mentioning trying to blow this up, but if they're on defense, no thank you. Okay, loud music. It's hard to talk over. What do we do? Oh yeah, keep the badges coming. Okay, now they had a plus three. Um, so that helps their overall, uh, national will, but I love watching the casualties. Look, under a thousand to about eleven or twelve thousand. That's, that's wonderful. Replenishment cost 89 and 981. All right. I think from now on, when they give up, I'm gonna have to play the uh, Monty Python Brave Sir Robin song, if that's not copyright uh, infringing. Um, because they always leave with their tails tucked between their legs. So we spent some global supply. Okay, I got a little, I got a little crazy, but it was worth it. Okay, and we get to do 940 again. Oh my goodness. Okay, question: Do we have enough time in this episode? I think the answer is no. We could go long. But you just saw the same type of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and put the pause in now. Okay. And then we'll come back to it at the beginning of the next episode. So with all that being said, in closing, I just wanted to say another thank you. I'm always thanking you guys. But there are 350 subscribers now and counting. We were at, I don't know, like 20 a couple of months ago, it feels like. So that's really awesome. To me, 350 feels like 350,000. Um, I don't need big numbers. I don't care about the numbers, but it's just cool that the rest of you are enjoying these videos as much as I am enjoying making them. So that shall continue. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. If you did not, no one can see the dislikes anyway. So just leave it blank. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you in the next one.